So the call is now being recorded. Uh, please keep yourself mute. And uh, again, as I was saying, I'm honored to talk about Women in Localization today. Women in Localization has a very valuable mission, which is to foster a global community for the advancement of women and localization industry. Now, you might think about the role of men. I would like to say that we like to promote inclusiveness and therefore whoever supports inclusiveness is welcome to join Women in Localization regardless of their gender. And if you would like to become a member, you can find more information at www.womaninlocalization.com. And bear with me, I am going to do a quick demo uh, towards the end of this presentation for you to make sure whether or not you're actually listed with the uh, global organization. Okay, so at Women in Localization, um, we like to build a community of um, individuals that would like to foster a global um, advancement for women and localization. As you know, we are a, a 501c3 tax exempt and non for profit. And uh, we would like to. Sorry, I'm having a little bit of a technical difficulty here. I can't see my own screen. Can everyone else see my screen? Oh, I guess everybody is muted. Give me two seconds, please. Okay, so I can see the screen now. So it's our mission to foster a global community for the advancement of women and localization industry through networking, education, career advancement, mentoring, and recognition of women's accomplishments. Women in Localization is supported by thousands of women and men across the globe and local chapters who support members locally. If you would like to gain more information, you can check our website at www.womaninlocalization.com or check us on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. We were founded in 2008. Um, we had three co-founders, nine board members, three advisory board members, 24 chapters, 10 global programs, 17 countries, 5,000 members, 2,500 Twitter followers, 2,100 Facebook followers, and 10,000 LinkedIn connections. We host about four to five events per chapter yearly. Now, when I look at this map here with all of these countries that have um, members uh, from Women in Localization and ambassadors in it, uh, there's one thing that comes to my mind. It might sound like a wishful thinking, but I hope that one day I get to see my own country, which is Iran, in this map. I hope that uh, my country changes its uh, geo-global and political views of things and opens its door to globalization. And I hope that I can one day host women in localization in my own country, Iran. I, if, if you don't see your country here, I hope you can do the same uh, for your respective countries back home. Women in Localization is partnered with many a worldly renowned uh, association and organizations. Um, some are mentioned here. Now, we are focused on creating a community whose culture and values are support, empowerment, commitment, and belonging. And we do honor a lot of programs. For example, programs and plans that we are going to have for 2020 include chapters in growth, operations, marketing, membership, um, technology, mentorship, education, sponsorship, and uh, strategic partnership and events. These are the ladies that are uh, members of the leadership team. Um, Catherine, Christi, uh, Chris. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I can hear a noise in the background. I just want to make sure that everything is going well with the recording. I guess you're good. Um, so, Catherine Christensi, um, Catherine Busman, myself, Nazanin Azari, uh, Maurice Behoff, Tania uh, Southfi, and uh, Giovanna Patruno, 
Alex uh, Ignanovich. I'm very sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Please forgive me. Now, who can join a uh, woman in localization? As I mentioned before, anyone who is interested in supporting globalization, localization, internationalization, and translation industry, and who is committed to supporting our mission to foster a global community for the advancement of women and localization industry can join us. How to join us? I'm going to do a very quick demo. Uh, before I start a demo, I just wanted to let you know that uh, before this, we were really active on LinkedIn and Facebook. Uh, but now that we have established ourselves as a non-for-profit organization, it is important for us to add your names as a member into a database. And for that reason, we need to collect your consent. Um, for that reason, we would like to encourage you to um, join as a member on the uh, Global um, uh, Association's website, and I'm going to direct you there. Or you can use this QR code here. Um, and Catherine has done a great job trying to let us know where the QR code is. If you see it in the events, you can scan it and go directly to the website. I believe you should be able to scan it off the screen right now, but if you're not able to, don't worry. I'm going to take you to the website right now and you can just copy the URL. You can also find the URL on LinkedIn and all of our social media. Make sure that you check your spam folder after you become a member because the confirmation email might land into your spam box. Okay, now I'm going to change my uh, screen just so we can go on the web page uh, for membership. I just need your confirmation that you can see uh, my screen now. I want to make sure that when I change the screen, you can still see it. Yes, we can see it. Thank you so much. I appreciate your help. Okay, so I am going to enter myself as uh, a new member. And if you are already entered, um, there's nothing to worry about. At the end of the form, um, the user experience is going to indicate that you're already part of the list and it is going to give you a summary of the information that you've filled in before. And if you need to change anything, uh, it will direct you on how to change it. Here's Canada. Now, we are part of uh, Eastern Canada. I might be entering information that's different from my original um, checkpoints when I originally joined, but we'll see what it says. And uh, I... I believe I'm interested in all of these. So you do have the option of checking all points. And if there is any other interest that you have, you can check others. So if you'd like to receive emails, uh, please check that. I just want to see if I don't check that, would it let me go to the next step? No, you have to consent to the fact that you're willing to receive emails from us and that your email is going to be added to the uh, GDPR regulations. So, oh, there's a note here. It says that uh, nazaninazari at gmail.com. Yes, it's already subscribed to Women in Localization. If you'd like to make updates, you can click on here. And you can adjust your address or um, you can make any changes. I think this would be a good point for me to uh, let you ask any questions. If you'd like me to restart the process, if you'd like me to go back or if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer those. Is there any questions? I guess not. We're all ready to get the party started, right? <laughs> okay. Now, why uh, become a member? Becoming a member is very encouraging, actually. You will receive monthly newsletters. You will receive leadership skills development. Uh, 
You get to publish on our platforms. Um, you you can submit uh, articles that can be published on the uh, global website's blog. Uh, you will get early bird event registration. You will get access to mentorship programs. And uh, if you have any questions about mentorship programs, Tanya, uh, if she's here with us today, I'm sure she'll be more than happy to answer questions. Uh, you will get access to uh, gated content. You will get volunteering opportunities. And in fact, um, at uh, right now with the Eastern Canada chapter, we are looking for individuals that are interested in volunteering uh, and in assisting us uh, for very short projects that involve translation from English to French for some of our events, announcements, and uh, email content. If you're interested, please let me or Catherine know. Um, you can um, establish Women in Localization Partners discounts. Um, if, if you need more information about this, uh, I guess Catherine can give us more information about that or we should be able to find more information on the website. And uh, you will get access to exclusive webinars, which is very precious. Uh, we do have events um, at all times, now that things are pretty restricted due to COVID-19, uh, we are planning to have a lot of online events uh, in the coming months. And um, as said before, if you would like to become a member, the doors are open to all genders. Uh, it's free to become a member and you will um, get news about our upcoming free events. You can register at https woman in localization dot com sign up or you can use the QR here. You can also find all the information about how to become a member on our social media platforms. Okay. If you'd like to ask any questions, I'll be more than happy to assist you. You can just unmute yourself and let us know about your questions or if you have any comments. Um, hi, Naz. This is Catherine here. Uh, hi, everyone. Um, I have a few uh, more uh, things to point out uh, regarding the um, uh, the registration, uh, signing up as a member. Uh, so the, the, the point of uh, today's um, presentation was um, it, it was. There is uh, at the moment uh, joining uh, women in localization chapter is uh, a bit confusing because uh, we're having some trouble with uh, Mailchimp. Um, that's why uh, most of you, if not all of you, are already members. But we're asking you to uh, visit the the website women in localization sign up. Uh, to do the process that Naz showed you, uh, so you can be just to verify you're already a member of our chapter, uh, but you're probably a member uh, on, on our mailing list anyway, uh, except from Nelly. Nelly, I'm not sure you said you joined today, uh, so um, if, if you can also uh, send us an email at this address, chapter at womeninlocalization.com uh, so we can make sure to add you on our mailing list. Um, yeah, absolutely. Okay, that's great. Thank you. I did I did get like a confirmation email twice, so um, yeah. I think I'm registered, but I will send you an email as well. Yes. So so again, I, I'm, I'm sure it's confusing. It's confusing for us as well. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's but, okay. It uh, happens. Yeah. So, um, because, you know, women in localization, the, the parent organization started on um, on LinkedIn, basically. So, and they had a group there and everyone who wanted to be a, mem a member just, you know, joined the group and that's it. And then at some point, uh, you know, they started having uh, uh, chapters and they wanted to make it, uh, to make the process of signing up, of being a member uh, more manageable, let's say. So, they asked everyone, so, and that was years ago, they asked everyone from uh, all the LinkedIn members, they said, please go and join through the website. Um, and then, so not everyone has done that. So I think uh, there were uh, 
more than uh, 10,000 members uh, on, on the LinkedIn group, you know, the main LinkedIn group of women in localization. And only, I think, 2,000 or 2,500 have signed up through the website. Uh, because through the website, you can also choose your chapter and all that. But there's, there's, a, there's a small glitch. And uh, the, the individual chapters don't get automatically, they don't get uh, you know, the new members uh, that have signed up. So that, that's why we're asking you, apart from signing up on the website, also please send us an email to make sure you're on our mailing list and you get all the emails about uh, the events that we're having. That are coming up. Uh, does that make any sense? <laughs> Has anyone understood what I'm saying? Because it's quite confusing. Yes, I, I think it's understandable. Okay. Uh, Catherine Busman here. I just want to give a shout out to uh, a couple of other leaders from the global team that have just joined. Uh, we have Carrie Fisher, who is the uh, geo manager for the, for the Americas. Hi, Carrie. Hello. <laughs> and we also have the chapter manager for the Argentinian chapter. So welcome, Maria Veronica, I think, right? Yes, hi. <laughs> Bienvenidos. Bienvenida. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, ladies. My pleasure. Uh, congratulations, uh, Maria, for the uh, webinar, the, the event you had last week. Uh, it was, which was very, very successful. Oh, thank you. Yes, we were a little bit afraid also because, well, it was our first time, but, well, I think that everything was okay. And, uh, the content was, was current and very interesting, so many people joined. We are very happy. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Um, okay, is there uh, is there any other any other questions? Uh, should I stop the recording uh, so we can talk more freely? You can also just type your questions in the chat bar if that's easier for you. I I have some questions. Um, because I, I just joined recently and I'm actually quite new to the world of localization, um, which is why I've decided to join and, and kind of get more connections in the industry and things like that. So I guess uh, just as a start, you know, given everything that's going on in the world right now, um, when we're talking about events, uh, is there typically a divide between meeting in person and also having uh you know the online events and and sort of what kind of events are are expected for 2020 um upcoming for for the canada chapter if you know that at all yep uh okay so am i am i muted no okay so um uh we have so the one thing i was i was also meaning to mention is that uh we don't go crazy with the emails so as soon as you become a member uh you basically will receive uh the emails the the invites uh to our upcoming events which until uh the covid crisis was uh, where um took place on site, uh, they weren't virtual. Uh, so, and uh, most of the events that we have uh, take place in Toronto and uh, uh, in Montreal. Um, we have about uh, four events uh, per year. Uh, it's usually a, a panel type one or a presentation type one. Uh, usually something to do with localization and then at least one mentoring event. Uh, we had a great one last year. Uh, you can find the, it was recorded. Uh, it was at the Shopify offices in, in Toronto. You can find it on our YouTube channel and um, or a, net, a networking event. And then last year we also had uh, like a holiday social uh, where we all met at a very nice um pub, restaurant, uh, uh, place in, in Toronto. Uh, so just, and maybe a couple of emails with resources or news or something that would be interesting to the members. So just so 
you're not scared that you're gonna get no. uh, you know 50 ma 50 million emails uh throughout the year no and you can unsubscribe anytime and all of that stuff is completely free um and yeah that's it uh so because of the uh right after so after the because we're in the middle of the crisis now and we can't have any um events on site anywhere we can where we can all get together uh we are having them virtually so we have uh one upcoming event uh that will be uh about um tech localization uh have we sent out the details yet no so we're still uh planning that uh, it will take place uh mid-may around mid-may or end of may somewhere there so you'll get an email if you uh send me an email so i was just to make sure you're on the mailing list and you'll get an email when uh all the details are done and uh, there will be a link to an eventbrite page uh where you can register again completely free um so that one will be virtual and then uh after that uh on our very loose schedule uh we are planning we'll see if we can do um a mentoring event or another planning or another um panel uh this time on game localization maybe um in in june or somewhere there and if everything goes well we'll uh go back to having on-site events um sometime in september hopefully yeah so that's that's uh, our catherine, we're planning let me let me just jump in catherine this is catherine busman i just want to say i mean yes normally the, the whole point of women in localization is to meet in person right that's kind of uh ideally what we want to be doing uh, it, because a lot of us work uh, you know, from some of us work from home. Some of us are maybe the only localization person at uh, the company where we are. So it's always nice to meet other fellow localization people in person. Uh, however, of course, now we have to do everything virtually. Now, the the upside, I guess, the silver lining to me anyway, uh, is that you know it's a global organization. So and and you know we're just one chapter. There's all these other chapters now that are also having to go virtual and are planning and hosting virtual events. And I mean, I don't want to speak for the other chapters, but you know, people from other chapters are more than welcome to join our virtual events. So I'm assuming it's sort of mutual. Yeah, <laughs> uh, perhaps the chapter manager from Argentina can confirm. Uh, so, so you have suddenly you have this opportunity to go to you know events all over the world virtually, which isn't normally the case. But it's kind of a nice sil silver lining, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Texas yeah. just opened it up to everybody, so uh, that was mm -hmm. fun. Yeah, and we're gonna have a, a more global platform, I think. You know, for the next. Yeah year you know <laughs> yep. depending on how long this takes right <laughs> yeah exactly and and to add to that hi i'm dominica and i'm um actually the program director for events our global events uh for women in localization and uh usually women in localization is also represented in all the major conferences localization conferences around the world like lock world and gala um taos and so on so since we cannot be attending the physical, you know, the conferences in a physical way. We will have also a lot of global events uh, for the members coming up, some webinars in partnership with Gala um, as well. So yeah, please be on the lookout for that. And there should be a lot of good things coming virtually. That's awesome. Thanks, guys. I'm really looking forward to the events. And so also, I mean, uh, for anyone who's just joined, I mean, we're always encouraging members to give us ideas of what kinds of events you would be interested in. Like if, if you have an idea for an event, uh, for instance, if you think we should do a panel on a very specific topic because that would be very helpful to you and you know there's other people who would be interested, don't be afraid to reach out to the leadership team and suggest it and, and maybe even throw us some names of people we should contact to put together a panel uh, or, or maybe a, an expert uh, presentation on, on a specific topic. 
uh, because we're always going to be looking for ideas for future events. So, so you know, it's a collaborative effort. Uh, don't be afraid to, um, you know, give us your suggestions and ideas for future events. And I think for for events from other chapters, you know, if you're uh, looking for what's what else is going on in other chapters, uh, you can always go to the global website, uh, womeninlocalization.com, and there is a page, uh, I think, right, Carrie, where you... Sort events. Of, yeah, the events page, where yep. uh, all the events that are coming up for any chapter around the world are all listed, and you can uh, find the contact information there, and, and it's always done via Eventbrite, so usually you're asked to register via Eventbrite ahead of time. There's never any charge or anything. It's always free. Uh, but you, we do want people to register so that, uh, you know, uh, it's, there's a bit of a, a screening, not screening process, but we know who's attended and, and that type of thing, right? Yes, and the, and the GDPR stuff. That, uh, that they get the email and that it might be recorded and all that. So it's yeah. always best to go through Eventbrite. I hate to bail, ladies. I got a meeting I got to run to, but I wanted to just pop in and, and say hi. And um, Thanks, and Carrie. Thanks, thanks for, for hi. Hi. <laughs> Carrie. <laughs> thanks for popping in, Carrie. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm sorry. I'm very casual. I didn't wear makeup. I didn't know there was an event. <laughs> <laughs> I got my old bodybuilding.com t-shirt on. Yeah, anyway. We'll see you guys later. <laughs> you look fab. See you later. Bye. 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 Um, is this is this a good time to uh, end the recording so we can uh, get more cultural? I think so. Okay. So